Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem on a rigid bar and links where the axial loads exist indirectly in the links due to the load applied on the rigid bar. The question is, the rigid bar BDE is supported by two links AB and CD. Link AB is made of aluminium with the young modulus of 70 GPa and has a cross-sectional area of 500 square millimeters. Link CD is made of steel with the young modulus of 200 gigapascal and has a cross-sectional area of 600 square millimeters. For the 30 kN force shown, determine the deflection of B, D and E. To solve this problem, first we have to draw a free body diagram for the whole structure separately to find the internal force involved. Link AB, Link BD, and Rigid Bar BDE. For AB, we have the internal force and we assume it in tension. For CD also has the internal force, assume in tension. And for BDE, the forces at B and T just reflect to the forces in the links A, B and C, D, which are also in tension. And we have the applied force of 30 kN downward at E. Then we just put all the information given in the table P, L, A and E. By referring to the free body diagram, we only have two axial loads at the links AB and BD. So we only have delta AB and delta CD that can be calculated using formula PL over AE. Delta AB and delta CD. L we just take from the diagram. LAB equals to 0 0.3 meters and LCD equals to 0 0.4 meters. A and E is taken from the question AAB equals to 500 times 10 to the power of negative 6 square meters. ACD equals to 600 times 10 to the power of negative 6 square meters. EAB equals to 70 gigapascal. And ECD equals to 200 gigapascal. For P, we don't have the value of P yet. Since the P is the axial load, for the delta AB, this is the axial load PAB and this is the reaction. For the delta CD, this is the axial load PCD and this is the reaction. Then we use the free body diagram of rigid bar BDE to find the value of PAB and PCD. Apply the static equilibrium equations. Summation of moment at B equals to zero. Counterclockwise is positive. We get PCD equals to 90 kN. And summation of FY equals to zero. Upward direction is positive. We get PAB equals to negative 60 kN. The negative sign of PAB represents PAB is in compression. Then we put the values PAB and PCD into the table. The deflection of B is the delta AB. We calculate the delta AB. We get the delta AB equals to negative 0.514 millimeters. The negative sign of delta represent the link AB is in contraction. The deflection of D is the delta CD. We calculate the delta CD. We get the delta CD equals to 0.3 millimeters and the link CD is in expansion. The deflection of E is the delta E. For the delta E, 
we cannot use the equation of delta equals to PL over AE because we don't have any axial load acting on the rigid bar BDE or specifically at E. What we can use is, we use a trigonometry concept. Let's say this is the line of BDE before deflection. At E, we have 30 kN force downward and it must be a deflection downward. At D, we know that the link CD expands and the rigid bar BDE will deflect downward at point D. At B, the link AB is in contraction and the rigid bar BDE will deflect upward at point B. Then we have three vertical lines here. After that, draw a new line of BDE after deflection that connects all the ends of the line. The vertical line at E is the delta E. The vertical line at D is the delta CD. And the vertical line at B is the delta AB. We know that the length of BD is 0.2 meters and DE is 0.4 meters. Let's say this length is x. This is 0.2 minus x and this is 0.4 plus x. Then we take tangent theta equals to delta AB over 0.2 minus x. Tangent theta equals to delta CD over x. Tangent theta equals to delta E over 0.4 plus x. Substitute all values of the delta AB and the delta CD. Find the value of x. We get x equals to 0.0737 meters. Then substitute the value of x into the earlier equation and find the value of the delta E, then we get the delta E equals to 1.928 millimeters.